Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan. Welcome to my daily plan with me for January 17th through the 23rd. Before we get started, I just wanted to share how I have refreshed my agenda for the new year. So it's really full, but for now I think it's full in a really fun way. So what I've done is add some of these little prayer cards, which they're called prayer cards, but they're actually scripture cards. I just chose a selection of cards that I thought would be great to have for this month or just for right now in the winter. And then I put this Flora compliment card. Uh, you are capable of wonderful things here. A few more of the same prayer cards. These are from Bloom Daily Planners, by the way. And I do have um, an affiliate link in my bio, not my bio. I have an affiliate link down in the video description for Bloom Daily Planners. And then some date dots, because I often use kits that I make myself. And sometimes those kits don't have numbers in them. In fact, I'm using one today where I did add some numbers. But most of the time, my daily duo kits that I make don't have the numbers. So um, during the one of the sales that we had recently, I loaded up on this metallic, the metallic date dots because you get quite a few. I think there are 12 sheets in here. And then it's mixed metallic, so you get silver and gold and rose gold in here. So I have a bunch of these. These are just some from my last pack that aren't used up, so I just tuck them in here. This is the ruler from that eco-friendly gift set that was available. I don't know if it still is, but it also had the cool chunky notepad. Let me show you that, this thing. I thought this was adorable because it's like graph paper and it's so chunky and you can stick a little pen down in here. I have been using this a lot. I keep this on my desk and I love this ruler. I love the color of the ruler and I just love how it doesn't slosh around. Um, in here. Then I put my Flora sticky note set back in. This is one that early on when Erin Condren first released the agenda, I reconfigured this. I cut off the coiled edge that was over here, rearranged the sticky notes so that I could make room over here to punch holes, and then I just cut slits beside the holes so that I could punch it in and out without opening the rings. I went back to my Flora they're not really page lifters. They're just, you know, a, a page lifter has a hole that goes out like an oval. This is more just like a decorative cover to protect the first page. And I removed all of the months that were full from 2021. I still had just, I think it was just no October, November, and December, something like that. I took all of those out and I added in the rest of the first half of 2022. So this will take me through June, 2022. I will probably have to, as this fills up, remove the used up months as we go along. Then I decided to try this out. I got a Flora Planty Pack, not when they first came out because they sold out. And now, of course, you can get the Ultra Planty Pack, which has the zipper that goes along a rounded edge. And the pocket is, I think, on the front of it. This one has the pocket on the back. I like both styles, honestly, but I picked this up during the Black Friday sale. I got several. I, I just think it's beautiful, and these don't have to go on a planner. They can go in your in a handbag. They can be used for packing. They can be used for makeup, pens, whatever you want to use them for. And then I've got the Flora sticker set here, the sticker book, Flora sticker book. I just went all Flora for now. And then I've got all of my January memory verses tucked back here. I also did a little cleanup. You know, if you have the older style of the agenda, they actually have a new one now where this material is not a faux suede. But when it's the faux suede, little bits of paper stick to it. So I did a little cleanup just by using pieces of tape and that just picked them all right up so it looks fresh and clean. But you can see it's really full, right? really full. And the way that planty pack looks on the back is that you see the strap. But since the strap is pretty, I don't mind that. Don't know if I'll keep it here, but I'm going to try it out this way for a while. I just have fun chunking it up. It's just, it's fun. Okay, so speaking of Flora and in keeping with Flora, I have made a sticker kit and I've also done something fun, which you might have seen on my Instagram. 
So um, I got out an old typewriter. It's an electric typewriter called a Sears Communicator. And look here, I'll show you what I did. So obviously this is not like the most handy way to put that, but unless you're having to get in there, it's nice. So look what I did with my Sears Communicator typewriter. I just typed directly on these stickers. I fed them through, you know, like cranked it through. Old timey typewriter, although it is electric. And I populated these stickers with text, things that I like to use. And I had so much fun doing this that I thought, well, I, oh, and I even did this lesson three, lesson three, lesson three, lesson three. I will add that to my piano days. I just thought this was perfect. In fact, I wanna just keep doing that, using these little circles. And then um, I usually just put a number, but L3 looks like a, like a super secret code, so. And then I did some other, like with these circles that I always have a hard time using. I just used up the ones on this side with make budget stickers, do an at-home manicure, do a before and after, and clean my desk. So I'm gonna use all of these. And I thought, well, I'm gonna need to make a kit. So I tell you what, a better place for this would actually be here, wouldn't it? So I don't have to move this. So the kit Hang on. is right here. Now this one's not for sale because I did use Gen Plans font and I just have a personal license on that font. Um, and also, it's the Erin Condor and Flora design, so I can't really sell that. But I made this, and if you have a silhouette, you could just use this as inspiration to make your own kit if you want. I went ahead and did make the round numbers, like, that would fit here. Um, but those metallic date dots in the front, this is what I want to keep those in here for. And then a box for my memory verse and each day. And then I decided to break up the to-do list on the side of each page with the top part will be to-do, the second half will be something good. So it can be gratitude or just something good that happened that day. So let's go ahead. We're gonna use all this good stuff today. So I am going to open the rings. I know some people hate it when you do that. They'd rather see you slit the pages, but I I just take my chances. I like to go ahead and just open up the rings. We're gonna go all the way to this page and then insert a notes page. Look how full. Oh my goodness. I might have to take out some, who knows. Okay, it still closes. And then I've got notes pages back here. Take out this one. Close from the center, I think that's better for it. Not ideal. Probably not as great as if you just slit the pages like the experts tell you to. But that's what I'm gonna do this way. I'm taking my chances. So this will go beside the Sunday page. And it will be like this. So here we are on Monday. Last week, I didn't do my daily plan with me until Thursday. So I'm feeling rather accomplished right now that I am getting this done on a Monday. Oh, it is Martin Luther King Jr. Day today. I almost forgot. I that My husband and Martin Luther King Jr. have the same birthday in real life. Like his actual birthday, I think, if I'm not mistaken, his actual birthday is, and no, Sunday was not the 17th. His actual birthday, I think, we can look this up. Somebody chime in if you know. I think is is the seven is the fifteenth, and that is my husband's birthday. So he has the same one. We never really forget Martin Luther King's birthday because of that. Martin Luther King Jr. And the eighteen isn't that pretty. Flora is just so pretty. Okay, so before we turn, let's just go ahead and work on this spread a little bit, and. Put, should I go matchy matchy and go kind of peachy pink with peachy pink? I'm thinking maybe I should. There we go. And this one is kind of the lilac purpley color. Okay, and here's where the sticker book is going to come in. Where did I put all those pages? Oh, here they are. 
Um, I'm going to use the little memory verse things that I typed. So they're right here. Let's see what it looks like. Feel like that or this? I'm gonna go like that because of the shape of this rectangle. I think if it were thinner, like the memory verse headers I normally use, I would offset it um, and do it like I, can you see that? And do it like I normally do, like this, but I think this looks better like this. Look how nicely that matches there. Okay, and then we have home day. Okay, so mom day is normally Monday and home day is usually Tuesday, but we're swapping that out because it's really snowy here. So this one is actually the home day today. And I'm gonna put that with a strip of skinny washi like this. Let's do blue and go this is just all home day and the washi strip is not really necessary but I like that look cute it's too crooked though for me okay so in the snow yesterday we're in southwest Virginia and a bunch of states around us have gotten a, a lot of snow and Yesterday was when all the excitement was happening. And, you know, we're big bird watchers, so I did take some pictures yesterday. Let's have show and tell. These are pictures that were taken from my kitchen window yesterday. So this is called an Eastern Towhee. You can barely see his eye, but it's kind of like a reddish brown eye. This is a male house finch, and he was propped up right outside the window in the kitchen and just sat there staring at me for a long time. He wasn't spooked by me at all. And he's got little snow um, flakes on his head. And look at this funny little male cardinal. He popped up at the window. He saw me with my camera and took off immediately. But I did happen to get his picture. <laughs> There's a little bird seed right outside. So he was there for the, for the food. But he was not intending to see the great big human with the camera right on the other side of the window. Same thing with the chickadee. But the chickadee did not get spooked like the cardinal did. He sat there and ate for a second before he took off. He's adorable. This is a white-throated sparrow, and I think it's a girl. The, the boys have like black stripes up here, and the girls are more like dark brown stripes. And this is a blue, beautiful blue jay. Blue jays are my husband's favorite. And here is a female cardinal just looking straight at me. I think that's pretty funny. So because of all the snow, mom day is getting moved to tomorrow. And I, you know, there's no guarantee that I'll be able to leave the house then. But I'm thinking that things will be cleared up at least somewhat. And I will go see mom. So we have mom day. And if you don't know, I go and help my mom with stuff three days a week. And that's when I also try to get errands run. So if I'm going to run any errands, I try to make that happen on a mom day. And I also have, why do I get this crooked? I'm not even going to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. So I have piano Tuesday through Friday. So we've got this. And I've also got that L3 that looks like a, a secret code, which just means lesson three. So we're gonna get an L3 to go with this. Is this a washi sticker? Oh my goodness, it is. And the typewriter worked on it. Oh my goodness, didn't realize that was a washi sticker. And let's put another strip here of this good stuff. I wanna line it up with the other washi strip. And we'll go like this, try to make it straight this time, and L3, secret code L3, where should that be? Let's put it at the top of the washi strip. 
Oh, it's like top secret. People are gonna look at this years from now and say, what did L3 mean? Oh, the people of 2022, what was their, what were they about? All right, I'm gonna go with purple to go matchy matchy right here. Last week's kit was beautiful. If you didn't catch last week's plan with me, and I'm not bragging because I didn't make it, it was a Mama Gloria kit. You got to check that out. It was beautiful. Really deep blues and some owls and other what I presume to be nighttime, nocturnal types of birds. It was beautiful. All right, so there is my to-do. And my something good is going to go here. Something good happens every single day, you guys. Sometimes we don't realize it because we're focused on the stressful things. But I firmly believe that something good happens every day. That's why gratitude journals are so important. Keep them by your bed and rack your brain on the worst day and remember that something good did happen. I really believe it. No matter how stinky the day was, how yucky the day was, all right, and then I'll put our something good here. Might not be the exact same spot, but in a way that's good because when I turn the page, all the stickers won't be in the same spot. And then I've got a few random little to-dos. So um, budget stickers, I would love to make budget stickers today. Let's do that. Budget stickers right here. Let's just put it right there. Gorgeous. And then also film plan with me. I think I did a, here we go. A plan with me. I'm also doing laundry. So let's put both of these on here. When I was typing, I just tried to think of everything that I might be doing this week. I didn't really know where I was going to put them. So it's about noon right now. And I did start the laundry already, so we'll put the laundry up here. Love it. And shampoo and blowout, that's gonna be, I did one last night. I don't have to wash my hair all that often. And now that I am older, my hair just does not get that dirty. Okay, so I think we're ready to flip on to the next page, but I'm thinking this is gorgeous. I need to write the memory verse today, because it is Monday but we'll come back to that. And I'm not gonna edit this a whole lot. It might be long, but think of it as we are hanging out, okay? And you can just go about your business and listen to me jabber if you want to, or just mute me. And do something else while you're kind of watching this in the periphery of what's going on. And let's put the 20, these are all gem plans font, like I said. Is that the right day? Yeah. Um, these are all gem plans font. You can get her font on Etsy. And look, I haven't been using these. Maybe I should do that. These are two different blues, even though they might look exactly the same to you on the screen. This one's more of an ice blue. This is more of a aqua-ish blue. Let's just put this down here for, for the sake of beautification. And let's put the more greenish blue one. And I could mix it up. You know, I could do lavender with blue, but I'm just feeling it this way. And then <clears throat> let's come over here and see if we want to add in these. I think I need to go a little bit lower because of where I put the memory verse box. You know what? I wonder if I stood that sideways instead of up and down because look how that went farther over than these lines. I bet I did. But it works. It doesn't really matter. Where's the edge of this page? Okay, so tell me if you are in one of the areas that was hit by snow yesterday. 
we can just kind of do a meteorological survey of who got what. I haven't measure, measured the snow, so I can't really say for sure how much snow we got. Now, I think if I tilted it this way, it would line up, sure enough, but then it's taller than that bottom checkbox. I mean, it's gonna overreach that, so I'm gonna go sideways with it, and it is a little bit wider than that column, but that's okay since I started it this way. That's fine. Um, we can kind of do in the comments, we can say, hey, I'm from so-and-so, if you feel comfortable saying so, and we got three inches of snow, or I'm from so-and-so, we got, it's still snowing, or whatever. So here in Southwest Virginia, where I have not measured, I would estimate that we have somewhere between six and 10 inches of snow. All right, this is going to be piano on both days. And we will want a skinny washi strip as well as a secret code L3 to go with that. And we've got the ice blue on this side. And piano. You guys, my husband actually watched my plan with me yesterday. My weekly plan with me, my hourly life planner, he watched it. And he said, oh my goodness, that sticker is crooked. And it, that cracked me up, but I was relieved that in the video I did pick up the sticker and fix it because he noticed. That was so funny. And then a couple people commented that they were screaming um, because I was creating a kit with colors that came from this Eastern Fresco beautiful washi tape from the washi tape shop that I used um, in that plan with me. And they were saying, hey, you should have used an orange sticker on your second plan with me because you had used an orange sticker on your first plan with me. And so, you know, to color code and make it consistent, I totally get that. And what I did was I chose like blue because there was already some orange on that page. So after two of you commented on that state of affairs, that situation, I said, well, that does it. I'm going to go change that sticker. But then my husband watched the plan with me and he said, yeah, but you don't want to have too much orange on Monday. You should keep it blue. So now I'm torn. Do I go with my husband's aesthetic and my original aesthetic or do I go with the color code and be consistent? Don't know. What a predicament, but I just think it cracks me up and it's sweet when my husband watches my plan with me's. I think it's great. How did I do this last time? Overlap, yeah. We're gonna cover up a checkbox and write something good there. Try to stagger it a little, make it a little bit different. Okay, this is a mom day, this is a home day. So I'm gonna have two of those mom days in a row Almost forgot to put the secret code lesson three there. And so my husband just came home. You're gonna hear some racket in a second because he's feeding the birds. So um, my husband is feeding the birds. I think I said that, but he also said, take a picture of the birthday cake. So I'll follow up. This will be a, this will be following up on what I talked about in the other plan with me. The cake did turn out well, but you know what? It wasn't as moist as we want it to be, even with the five minutes less on the cooking. And I think I know what the problem was. I left it in the pan to cool. I think I should have taken it out of the pan to cool. So, I mean, there's an argument that you could make that you just need to bake the cake again, have another cake and compare notes so you can really get it down to the right science, right? Okay, let's put one of these L3s here at the top of Thursday piano. We have a birthday on the 19th, so these half circles, which are another tricky one to find a good use for. And let's put the memory verse header on the top of these two big boxes. I like this typewriter look. It's just kind of, I don't know, office-y, vintage -y. I like it. 
and I've got five workout days I need to get in. So let's go ahead and put those on Monday through Friday. And maybe it doesn't have to be time specific. I'm just going to put it up at the top of the day. And these fit the hour height just right, if you were wondering. Let's put these workouts. So I didn't work out this morning, but I don't have piano this afternoon, so I can do it this afternoon. And I also made these little checklists for Tuesday through Friday. So this is a purple day. Let's put this here. This is just like a, just a checklist. It's like not necessarily what I would have as a unique to do. This is just an everyday thing. Like get the lesson notes done, switch the laundry, choose my outfit for the next day. Like that, that sort of thing. And this is the ice blue page. So we'll put one of those here. And this is the more teal blue, greenish blue page. Probably has a name. If you go on the Erin Condren website and you're personalizing your colorway on something, that, that blue probably has a name. <clears throat> but I don't know what it is. And let's go on to Friday with... I think I'm gonna use, oh good, I'm glad it's the pink because that other checklist is going to be a pink one. Friday and Saturday. And 21st, 22nd. And then let's see if we can find matching memory box, memory verse boxes, we can. We can, I will put these sideways like the others were. And this looks like purple, let's see. Let's see, yeah, this will be the right one. Oops, that page is all used up. So when I do sell kits, you know, I don't have an Etsy shot and I'm not like super professional, but I don't mail them like this. I. Have, it's a little bit harder to design them because I, I have them cut on strips that will fit into just like a standard number 10 envelope, like a business size envelope. Um, but I do get all the same components in there. It's just that I have them on smaller pages instead of a full size letter sheet of paper. So we're gonna use the pink here. I don't know if peak is the right word. It's kind of peach. And the greenish blue. No, this is lavender, sorry. Purplish. Kind of a cool purple, you know, like with a, a grayish hint to it. <clears throat> so I haven't taken this survey since the calendar year people have started their new planners. So I'm more of an academic year planner person, so I went through all of this discussion back in June or so, but are you, if you're an Erin Condren person, do you like flora, just my type, or mid-century circles the best? Curious. I kind of go back and forth. I, I like different ones at different times. I don't always like the same one. And there's not one that I don't like. I like them all at different times. All right, so let's see what we have here that I haven't been doing. At home, Manny. Well, let's see. It's Monday, I'm not going to do that today. Probably for piano lessons, I like to have a fresh manicure. But this might still be hanging on tomorrow. It's not gel or anything. So let's do that at home Manny on Wednesday. Like, I don't know, maybe I'll do it Tuesday evening. Like not during piano like it looks, but <laughs> um, 
like while we're watching TV or something, I'll do it then. And do a before and after. That's just when I take some area that could use a fixing up and I do a before and after of it. So clean desk, let's do clean desk at the end of the week. So Friday, we will clean the desk. And then do a before after. Let's do that on a home day, which would be a Thursday. So let's just pop that right here. Do a before after. So I just take a picture of some area that needs to be spruced up fix it up, and then take an after picture. It's super fun. All right, so one of these can go on Friday. So that's gonna go down here. Let me save it though, so I put it in the right place. <clears throat> Instead, we will do the, do I even remember Mom Day, Home Day? Yes. Okay, so this is going to be a Mom Day and a Piano Day. So we're gonna need Mom Day, and piano day and two little washi strips. So we could just go matchy matchy on this since we have that peachy color for the header. Piano and mom day will go another peachy header. And I'm not really with mom this many hours, but I just kind of block it out because I plan errands and things, so there might be errands involved in that or just like doing something that she needs done might be a part of that. And then I want to plan my, um, do my plan with me on Saturday. I also want to do another shampoo on, I do this on Friday. do a shampoo and blowout Friday and then a plan with me on Saturday which is a purple looking day so let's pop that right here plan with me will not take this many hours but actually if I'm making a kit it might because I might make the kit and then film right after that who knows then we want the memory verse doohickeys and this thing now I can fit in the right place Wait, where was I putting those before? I think I was putting them up here. Okay. <clears throat> and memory verse header. So when you're peeling stickers out of an Erin Condren sticker book, if they have any foiling on them like this does, where the flower design is, you want to peel them up carefully because sometimes that foiling, whatever process they use, digs into the paper and it might tear where the foiling is. So you have to kind of be careful. And we will work out also on this day. The shampoo might come after the workout. That doesn't really matter. And then we'll save that. And there was one of, okay, I think that's good. I think that's all we have here, right? Plan with me Saturday. All right, so, oh, no, no, the top secret L3, the code for lesson three on this piano day. Can't believe that the typewriter worked on washi. That's ultra cool. And then Sunday, we're gonna do a little notes and ideas page beside it. So this will be the ice blue color. This is the more greenish blue color. And we're just, whoops, I've got my Flora mug here, by the way. Oh, sorry, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. I'm too zoomed in. Um, I have my Flora travel mug here just because we're doing so much Flora stuff in this video. I wanted to go all the way with the vibe of my tea. Halfway down this page, I'm going to do gratitude. Don't think I made a header for that. And it won't be halfway, it'll be that much. The 23rd is Sunday. 
And so we're finished with this one. We need a memory verse box. And we're gonna use these little dots over here. We'll put the checklist here. I'm dreading watching this back when I edit to see how much of what I was doing you couldn't see. Sorry about that. Sometimes I zoom in and I forget that I've done that. To do up here and something good right around here. All right, and then we will put all of these little dots. Let's go into time lapse for the dots. All right, so this page is all done, and we just have a few things to add to Sunday. Did I print more of these than I need, or did I just not use any back here? I forgot to use them. That's what it was. So this is the ice blue strip. That one might be my favorite. I really like that one. Let's go back and put these in, and then we're finished with this sticker sheet. Okay, so that's finished. And this sheet is all used up. And we have what left? A memory verse header. And that one's finished. Then church. And write book. So I'm still working on rewriting the old prayer book that some of you might know about. I need to be working on that. And Sunday's a good day to rewrite an old prayer book. Okay, so here is what I think is everything. I don't think there are any more that I typed on. Nope, used them all up. This is, I like this a lot. I love how this looks. I need to type on stickers more often. It's so fun. I'm almost afraid to write on it though. I don't wanna goof it up. So let's go ahead and write the memory verse since we are on Monday now. So we are, let me let you see some of this up close because I'm not really sure that you could even see the typewriting. You probably could, but just in case. That's how it turned out. So let's put it back in my overstuffed stuffed agenda. And I suppose that because it is stuffed, it would be smart to do the little slit thing. So let's just do that. It's just, I'm not crazy about it because I don't want my pages to pull out by mistake, but it is nice to not need to open your rings. And I wonder if I can cut through all of these. Good idea or bad? Whoop, it worked. But I don't think I should put them all in at the same time. I'm not really sure why, but I have a feeling that might bend the paper more. Don't know. This is so pretty. I love Flora. I mean, you just can't go wrong with Flora. I also love mid-century circles. Some people are not fans, I know, because it's been around for a while, but mid-century circles is just gorgeous in my opinion. Yeah, that was probably a good idea to do it that way. But let's see if we have any trouble when we're flipping. No, no trouble, no trouble. Okay, so here's the last look. If you are looking for my prayer, it's at the end of my, my weekly plan with me, which is, it just says plan with me, January 17th through the 23rd, Erin Condren Life Planner. And it's my hourly life planner. So um, I encourage you to go check that out. Even if you don't use that type of planner, you might have fun 
watching it. All right, so let's do this. I've got, what else do I have that I want to add in? Oh, I've got to fill out my weekly actions for this week in my Moxie Life, and I've got this little inbox thing. This is from Milrose Notes, and I thought about maybe putting it here, but that looks weird with my name. I also thought about putting it on the current day, but rather than do that, I thought that the Flora sticky notes would look good to mark the day because there is a tab that we could just do this with. So let's do that. And then I'm not sure if I'll use that inbox thing. Yeah, I think it's better for the sticky notes because look, one of them got bent when it was up here. I don't think that's necessarily good for the sticky notes to be right there. Will this even close? Yeah, it'll definitely close. It's got plenty of room. It's got plenty of room and I can go right to my page like that. Good. Okay, so I am not prepared to just hurriedly go through my weekly actions and whatever ends up in here is going to find itself kind of sprinkled throughout the week. So, and this is the wrong day. <laughs> this is the wrong day. It's really the 17th. Let's not rush life. So the weekly actions will find themselves sprinkled throughout my planner. But I am off to make some budget stickers and to enjoy this snow day, to switch my laundry and get my workout in. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.